Hi, this is Clint from Tech Bargains. Today we're going to look at Craigslist Mobile Pro. You can pick this up in the App Store for 99 cents. It's made for the iPhone, the iPad, and the iPod Touch. If you've ever been to Craigslist, um, the one thing you know is it's kind of hard to navigate. Uh, you're not able to see pictures uh, unless you actually click on the post and go inside and, and look at the details and things. This is one thing about this app that I really, really liked. Um, it shows you the picture, a description, and then also the price all um, on one line. I'll show you that here in just a second. Uh, let's go ahead and go into this. You've got the option to search uh, for something. Uh, for instance, here in a minute I'll, I'll go ahead and put Troy Belt in. We'll look at some um, tractors, lawnmowers, things like that. Then you've got your categories. There's a lot of categories in here. Everything that would be on the internet site. We'll go ahead and just stick with uh, all for sale. And then of course you've got your location, and you're able to search by state and city. Then let's go ahead and look at these search settings real quick. If there's something specific that you're looking for and there's a price range, this would be the place to go to do that. You'd want to look at the, uh, put in something for the maximum price and the minimum price. And then if you're wanting to only look at stuff that has pictures, of course you'd uh, um, click on the on for post has image. And then you've also got the uh, search entire post or um, limit the search to, to titles only. And then you've got the sort results by uh, different things here. You've got recent, best match, low price, and high price. If you've already put some settings in and you want to quickly um, reset them all, then you've got this handy little reset search settings here. So let's go ahead and just type in something here. We'll go ahead and put in Troy Belt. Looking for a Troy Belt mower. As you can see, this is a pretty handy app. Um, it allows you to see the picture, the description, and the price. From there, you can actually click on the post itself, and then you've got the actual post. You've got um, your text, you've got some pictures, multiple pictures that you can look at. And then also I want to show you some of these buttons down at the, the bottom here. This one on the left actually shows you the original message in the uh, in like an internet page. So it's going back to the original. Go ahead and go back here. Let's click on it again. Okay, this is your favorites button. Let's say you want to look. You don't want to buy this, but you want to keep watching it. You want to see if it changes at all. See if the price changes or if it's sold or something like that. You can click this favorites button here, and then it'll post it to your favorites. And I'll show you where that's at here in a minute. Next, you've got this handy little um, button here. It allows you to reply with an email or if there's a phone number in the post it will also post the phone number above that and then you can actually call around right on the spot. And then if you uh, think you see something that your friend might like then you just click this button here for forward and it allows you to forward it through to them through email. So now that I've posted that as a favorite let's go back to the beginning and click on favorites and then here you see you've got it in the favorites and you can just click on it and you can check it periodically it's a very very handy tool I would say ten times better than the internet page the only downfall of the app right now um, is the posting and a message on there uh, in the app store says that the posting problem has been fixed and an update should be available in uh, the App Store in the next one to two weeks. Of course, I haven't seen this yet. Um, I am hoping for it, though. So you've got the main page here for posting. Um, you can log into the post. I'll just log in here. And then here's where it breaks. It pretty much stops here. You should have some other buttons and things. Um, the most that you can do right now is click on My Postings. And that takes you out to the to the internet page, and uh, will allow you to post from there. So not very handy right now. The other thing I don't like about this um, posting portion of it is that let's say that um, if I go to log out here, let's say I don't remember my uh, password, I have no option to reset my password or to look up my password. There's um, virtually nothing I can do unless I go out to the internet site and go ahead and change it from there. So all in all, um, I give this app a uh, 
3.5 out of 5, uh, mainly because there's no option to reset the password and because right now the post is uh, broken. So if you like this app and you like this review, uh, go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can do that at www.youtube.com forward slash user forward slash tech bargains. Thank you.